Hey, 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 welcome back to a different Why Not the podcast with your host, Rachel and Ben. We're back. It is episode five. Rachel, Rachel Kate Hall, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine? Yeah. Um, I'm on my period, so hormones everywhere, me swings and everything, so... Welcome to 66% lad audience. I'm a bit grumpy, if you can tell in the tone of my voice. And I'm not going to apologise it, because this is being a woman, a woman, you bleed. <laughs> and your hormones go everywhere, and you can't help it, so I ain't apologising. Guys, face facts, this is what women have to deal with. Rachel, today you're operating on a season one Friends Russ. I am. I'm fine. Imagine if Russ was on his period as well. I think he was. Every time I touch this paper, it makes such a loud noise now. I like it. How are you, Ben? How am I? I'm okay. I'm tired. Rachel, what's coming up? This week we have tea with Jacob Blood. The one and only JB, not Justin Bieber, sadly, but the better one. The better Justin Bieber. The better JB. Then we have our weekly watch list, and then the hot topic. A short episode this week, because you had a hefty one last week. Yeah. Hot topic this week, we are talking about relationships, so I need to try and get myself in a good mood. I think I just need a bar of chocolate, to be honest, but I ain't got any. So I can just dream about eating a bar of chocolate right now. I'll give you some crisps. No, it's got to be chocolate. Mm, I can give you some uh, quick milk, milk flavour thing. That's gross. That's all I can do, that's all I can offer. Yeah, so I'm going to sit here and cry. Yeah, I can't wait for that. But let's get into it. Sorry JB, you're on the episode where I'm very hormonal. Yeah, we should have got a woman on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have an episode talking about all things women. Ugh. I teach you. Teach Guys, we'll do an episode where we talk about Top Gear and The Simpsons. I can't wait. That's a bit sexist. No, it's not. Because women can like Simpsons. My yeah, men you. can bleed. Well, we're going to play some music now, and I'm sure Rachel will see if we've got any chocolate in the house. Uh, we'll see you after some music when hopefully people are happy. <laughs> right, we're back. It is the next segment... It is, drum roll, but don't touch the table because it makes a horrible sound. It's tea with. That's the sound of a sad kettle this week. Yeah. So tea with this week, we have got my good mate, fan of the podcast, someone who's been pressuring me for ages to get onto the pod, and I gave in. I finally let him. He was on the original. Yeah, he was on season one, but he was like, "Oh, let me be on the podcast," so I let him. I let him on. You look sad that I've let him on. I think she hates you, JB. No, I don't. Okay, she doesn't hate you. Right, are you ready to hear Jacob's question? Hey, Ben. Hey, Rachel. My question to you is, what is your most controversial opinion? What's your most controversial opinion, Rachel? You go first. My most controversial opinion is... Be careful, because I'm on the edge. Oh, glory. (laughs) Uh, my most controversial opinion is I think the Harry Potter movies aren't as good as everyone makes out. Slash aren't as good as they were. No, it's not really. It is controversial, but that's just her. Yeah, but I wanted to start us off out of the gate in a nice fashion. So yeah, I, I just, you know, they're good. I enjoy them. But I don't think I could ever sit through one to nine my sister's going to murder you. Yeah. I did a Harry Potter themed birthday and she's 20. Yeah, see, I don't think it's bad. Mm. I enjoy Harry Potter. I don't enjoy the first three. But things like Deathly Hallows, I could watch that. I could watch Deathly Hallows Part 2 like, like every the day, dark I think. Stuff. Yeah, I just, I don't think I can buy kids fighting magical terrorists. And Good job you're not invited, my mum. And we go to Harry Potter Studios. Thanks. The, but there's the thing of, like, you know, Hogwarts would be shut down. I don't and... feel as bad anymore. <laughs> Do you get what I mean, though? Yeah. 
like it's a bit. I think they're good films. They're good. Anyone that hadn't watched them, I'd recommend that they did watch them. But if you've watched them, I wouldn't be like, I can't wait to watch them again. Yeah, but there's other one, other films that people hype up way too much. Like what? Star Wars. Die. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Shut up. Star Wars is brilliant. And I think Star Wars is something, though, that Star Wars has held up since the 70s. It has Or the been. 80s. It has. People have loved it since it came out. Yeah, have you a fat? It's time you, you, you love it already, yeah. Okay, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? <sighs> You'll hate this answer. I, I'd rather watch Lord of the Rings. Well, it's boring, just walking trees. It's, that's in one film. Lord of the... Harry Potter or X-Men? Which X-Men? The series. Yeah, but there's X-Men from the 2000s. I don't really care. Or there's the newer ones. Any of them. Uh, probably the first three X-Men movies, the originals, and Days of Future Past, so the four. Harry Potter or Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones. You're really not a fan of Harry Potter, are you? I like it. I just, you know, some <laughs> Harry things Potter are or Fast and Fury? Harry Potter. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean and Harry Potter. Oh, uh, Harry Potter has more good films than Pirates of the Caribbean. Shrek or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Jurassic Park. Harry Potter. Jurassic Park. Mm, the original Spider-Man. Or Harry Potter. Mm. Uh, the issue then is it's three films. So I think obviously I'd pick Spider-Man because one and two are, are decent. Fantastic Beasts or Harry Potter. Uh, I've not seen Fantastic Beasts. You've not seen Fantastic Beasts? No. One, we should watch it at some point. It's quite good. It's... I don't get why they're making a third movie, but... Oh, my belly. Yeah, that's yeah, how I feel. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> oh, send me chocolate, please. There's a... Yeah, probably Harry Potter. Oh, no, Morrison closes up. Oh, I've got chocolate at home. Oh, now she's brightened up. Now she's going home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Anyway. My most controversial opinion. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Rachel doesn't have any, apparently. No. Just attack people that don't like things you don't like. Rach thinks everyone that says that they don't like friends is only saying it for a, an attention seeker. Yeah. I do think there's an element of people choose not to like things to be uh, like, ooh, look at me, I've never seen friends. Like, it's not a brown, it's not like a glint. It's like it's not a good thing. <laughs> I here's I mean we're we're really getting off topic. <gasps> Sitting down in the shower is better than standing up in the shower. What? All my days I totally agree with that. No. Have you ever done it? No. Do it. Why? Uh, you might not work in your shower actually. I don't want to. Oh. It's great. What kind of psycho would sit down? Because it covers you properly, it's not just like No. Yeah, no. it, everyone needs to try sitting down in the shower. That's called a bath. <laughs> um, what a ridiculous suggestion. <laughs> it's annoying when people say, ble I'm Googling these, saying bless you after you sneeze, they should mind their own business. Yes, I hate it. Because one, I've, I've never been a person that can say it, but two, I don't want you to acknowledge it, it's like falling over. Get your own way. Cake is not good, I agree, unless it's lemon cake. Or chocolate fudge cake, all melt in the middle. Chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to confess something on here that I don't think anyone knows, which is... Including me? No, you know it. I told you. Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of cake. I think... That's why I just said. No, but I'm saying everyone has the opinion of me that I'm a massive cake fan. No. I don't think a lot of people are cake fans. Also, another controversial opinion, the only brownies I like is if they're from, like, the ready-made mix. Mm. Or if they are from, like, do you know the Morrisons where you get like two for three pound or something? Yeah, the, the little ends. ones. Only brownies I really like. <laughs> you heard it here first. Rachel likes fake brownies <laughs> more than brownies. Yeah, every Die Hard movie except the most recent one is good. Yeah, 
This is funny. This is an in, in joke. Brunch is not bad, but it's dramatically overrated. <laughs> I I don't get brunch. I don't eat breakfast, so I eat brunch every day. But where when are you having it? I don't know. Depends when I'm hungry. You having it like twelve though? We're gone twelve. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. lunch then, isn't it? <laughs> you just skip breakfast. Yeah. Oh. I'm brunch not... is just an excuse. No, so, brunch is a proper thing. Nah, brunch is an excuse for getting. And a full English is a brunch. Ugh. Go and have a full English. You don't have a lunch. Uh, speak for yourself. Yeah. Can't be full English. Follow it up with a pot noodle. Gross, man. <laughs> Concerts are not fun. Never been. I. I'd love to be the kind of person that could say I don't enjoy concerts, but I still be playing. <laughs> running is fun. I have started running. Ugh. And I've actually, I do enjoy it. I don't like the person you've become since you've started running. Sweating is fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks sweating is fun? I hate it. But you're, you've are you become the kind of person since you started running. Everyone we see, you're like, oh, you should start running. I love it. Okay, I kind of agree to this. Watching a movie at home is better than watching a movie in theatres. Yeah, because if you get bored, stop it. If you get distracted, rewind it. Yes and no. I like the atmosphere in the cinema. Mm. But I don't like the seats. So, Cineworld is closed now anyway. So, But Cineworld seats are the most uncomfortable cinema seats ever. It's all about like the view. They have big yeah. seats. I tell you what, for such a cheap cinema... How is view so nice? It is. It's only like four quid, isn't it? Yeah, four quid. View's for a bit more expensive, though. But you don't need it because it's in, like, for us, it's in Meadowall. Yeah. Uh, I've just realised there's Americans who <laughs> can hear in so many words, like, what are they? A uh, cinema? That's the theatres. I agree with this, and I find it weird who, who doesn't do this. Ketchup yeah. should belong in the fridge. I agree. We don't, but I, I, I can understand why you guys do. Because if you're having chips and they just come out the oven and you want to eat them cold, chips to calm down. That's when I disagree. Yeah. Because I don't like the contrast of really hot chips and freezing cold ketchup. Also, set a new, if you set an alarm for eight, you need one at six, one at half six, one at quarter to seven, one at seven, one quarter past seven, one at half seven. One Mum and Dad hate me that I have a ten minute alarms going off for an hour if I need to wake up. Yeah. Because I've got to shock myself. And <laughs> I've got an app called Alarmy. Mm. And it makes you do challenges to turn your alarm off. Yeah, I was going to ask you about it when you were telling us last week. What are the challenges? That makes you Memory. Mm -hmm. So you have squares and you have to remember what the order is. <laughs> I would hate that. I'd get so angry. They're I'd just easy. Snap my phone and Shaking your phone 30 times. <laughs> the energy for that meant to wake you up and then maths problems were like 16 plus 2 you're a psychopath if you want to do maths oh and also in the you can take a picture of something when you set it you have to wake up and take that picture again <laughs> and also there's one where you you do barcode yeah and then you can pay for pre pay for premium and you can uh, set yourself a message in the morning and you have to type out that message. <laughs> I can I can really just picture you so in the morning you. with your alarm just going off and you're trying to... I got really angry the other day because I couldn't do it. Should I show you? Mission. What mission do you want? I don't know. Shake. But also it's really good because um, if you forget to put your sound on... Mm, it just does it anyway. Yeah. You have to press dismiss, then you shake face. Does that sound really wake you up? It gets louder. Uh, we're going to do a... Rachel, if you can't tell, is really aggressively shaking her phone. Then it wakes you up, and then it gives you loads of messages, like the weather and stuff. Uh, we're going to start a new segment every week, which is just going to be called Rachel tries to stop an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just make you do a challenge each week. What and do you think? You can choose whether when you do a challenge the alarm goes off, but I choose not because I will break my phone. Yeah. So. Thanks, JB. Yeah, that was a that was controversial. I want You've definitely chipped up since you realised that as soon as you're not with me, you're getting chocolate. I really want chocolate. It's quite sad, but you know. I'm gonna be sad.
We gotta push on. No, don't be sad again. You should have told your mum got me drunk. She okay. asked. I'm joking. Teresa, li you listen to this. Teresa's my mum. Yeah, but you could have told them that I'm about crying on my truck. They, by the time I you were crying about it, it, they were they were gone. They went. I saw them leave. No, you saw them arrive. No, I saw them leave. Okay, that's your problem. Right, well, that's I'm it. I'm joking. She's not. Oh, yeah. That's it for Tea With this week. JB, thanks for sending in your questions. We can't wait to have you back one day when we run out of friends to ask to do things. Now, Rachel Hall, are you ready to hear some music again? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear some music and talk about TV. <laughs> okay, we're back. It is... Segment three, the weekly watch list. Are you happy about that, Rach? Yeah. Yeah, you're not happy about anything this week. Welcome to the weekly watch list. Uh, do you want to start? You want to tell mm. us what you're watching? Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. I got a finish. Oh, I finished the season last night. Wow, well done. Who who are you thinking is A? I know who A is. Okay, do you want to say? No. Why? Because they're ruining it. It finished years ago. No, because it's back on BBC and people want to watch it and it's quite Im impressive. Okay, you're going to start the spin-off show when it's finished? Yeah. Well, I can't wait. Pretty Little Liars, Spencer, my favourite. They're not that little though, are they? No. It's like Big Little Lies. Why is it, why is it got little in there? No. Yeah, no one knows. Because they're only teenagers. Well, <laughs> men are playing 16 years old. I reckon the youngest one's about 27. <laughs> no. How old's the youngest one then? Not 27. I reckon she's about 27. No. Yeah, because I think in the main girl, like, 30. No, there isn't a main girl. Well, the one that everyone knows. Every everyone knows all of it. No, they don't. We're just... If you're wondering why there's silence, we're googling how old the Pretty Little Liars are. Um, okay, so Spencer, she mm. was born in 1985, so in 2010 she was 25. Um, this one was 21, Hannah Marin, Lucy Hale, 21, Emmy Fields, 23, she was Emily. Oh, she was Emily Fields, but she's Shay Mitchell. And the other one, uh, oh, she was actually 16. Aria. Alison. Oh, Alison, yeah. Yeah, she's actually 16. She's weird. Well. I've seen, I've seen up to season two before. But I wasn't far off. She's, she's 25. She uh, married uh, Mike from Suits. Patrick Adams. Well, she married Patrick Adams. Mm. I always thought... Patrick Adams was going to end up with the princess. No, but they went to the wedding. Huh? I don't know if this is creepy or cute. Mm -hmm. So, the person who plays Spencer, yeah. and Patrick Adams, Patrick Adams is also in Pretty Little Liars for, huh? for one episode. They were dating before Pretty Little Liars. <gasps> they broke up <gasps> and they auditioned because they knew she had the part in Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, that feels creepy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're married and they have kids now. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for them. Did uh, did Harvey Specter go to the royal wedding? Did all Maybe. the suits go? Should we find out? Yeah. <laughs> this cannot be a fun episode for people <laughs> listening. Uh, right, Harvey Specter. Anyway, Pretty Little Lies about a group of four teenagers get teenage girls. Their friend Alison went missing, and they're trying. They've keep getting these messages um, from A, who finds out all their secrets. They're trying to figure out who it is and who kidnapped Alison. Did he go? All of them but Jessica went. Hmm. I think she was busy. She's in um, Vampire Diaries. Is she? Yeah. Who is she in Vampire Diaries? She is a witch and she works in this bar and mm. she tries to kill Damon. Ooh. Anyway, right, close your eyes. I'm going to set a scene for you. Okay, it's the summer. It's a royal wedding. Prince Philip walks in, Queen Elizabeth walks in, Prince Charles walks in, closely followed by Lewis Lit, <laughs> who went to the do, wedding do you know in who a I tuxedo was... with the tail thing. Did he? Yeah. Show me a picture. 
Do you guess? Yeah, but who would you go up to and say hi? Lewis Lit. Yeah. Hi. He looks so happy to be there. <laughs> I watched the royal wedding. I can't think of anything more boring than, yeah, he's there with one of the prettiest Jensen. little liars. I'm not calling her pretty. The prettiest? No, I don't think that she she's that pretty. <laughs> That's I wanted to, mean. I didn't know what to say. I had to dig myself out of that. No, you also... dig yourself a favour hole now. <laughs> You've got two holes you need to dig out of. I'll just, I'll edit this out. Is she pretty? <laughs> These eyes are a trap. In my opinion, or In your objectively? Opinion. No. What do you mean objectively? Well, that was the wrong answer. Objectively, as in, like. <laughs> I did get told. I no, can't who I don't it was. think so. I think it was Immy who said she actually enjoys listening to us bickering. So <laughs> you've got this episode. She's well pretty. She's. She doesn't look like Selena Gomez. <laughs> but she does. She's got brown hair. She's so pretty. You you just put all women in a box, don't you? Oh, she looks like Selena Gomez with the brown hair. All Ben's crushes are either blonde or brown. You? No, I don't count. What do you mean Celebrity. all Ben's crushes? Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez. I don't like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Shout at me the other day because I said I don't like Taylor Swift. No, I just, I like Taylor Swift, as in the exactly. music. Yeah, right. I'm not like, woo, Taylor Swift. She's pretty. I just think she's got good music. And I said, Romeo, save me. She is a really nice person as well. Taylor Swift? No, Spencer. I was going to say because I'm pretty sure Taylor anyway, Swift is not my next one is, are you the one? <laughs> I'm so mad at that conversation. She's not pretty, in my opinion, but I'm sure she is confident in herself, and I'm sure Patrick loves her. But in my opinion, she's not pretty. Ben's basically saying he um, goes for the looks. Yeah. Look at you. Hey. Well, he didn't go for the looks with me. But... Don't bring yourself down. Are you the one? Tell us about that. Um, Ben, you cannot comment. It's an MTV show that's now on Netflix and it's about these couples and they all have to try and figure out, it's like a game and they all have to help each other figure out who their match is scientifically. But people obviously end up falling for other, other people who aren't the match. But if they don't figure out who the match is, they won't win all the money. And it's a team game as well. How's it a team game? <laughs> Because you, to to win, everyone needs to be paired with the right people. <laughs> it's just that I've not watched it and I've been watching it. It's so funny to think that they line each other up and they're like, all right, uh, I've only watched two Spencer, I think you're meant to be with him and you're meant to be with her and Stacey, you should be with him. Well... Is that how they do it? Yeah. How How is it scientific? Is it profiling or is so it... So they do questionnaires, they, have, they talk to their family members, they talk to ex-partners and stuff. I told Immy to watch it. I have only got two, episode, two episodes in. I told Immy to watch it on... I can't remember what day it was. And she messaged me the next day, next day going, I've watched them all. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm so glad you agreed to not force me to watch it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Good. And you don't respect that some people, Ben, <laughs> like different stuff to you. Oh, I respect most of it, but not that. No, you don't. <laughs> if you don't like it, no one else can else can like it. It's not true. Yes, that is true. All weekend we've been watching Pretty Little Liars. Because uh, you like it. <laughs> I do not like it. Because you would never, ever, ever watch any of my other shows or let me watch any it's of my other shows. We watch Gilmore Girls, Vampire Diaries. No, all yeah, the time. but you never said, "Oh, Rachel, you can watch this if you want." Yeah, I do. No, you I'm don't. not. I'd like to point out, for viewer safety, I'm not abusive. No, but what I mean, she watches is, her own shows. He won't let me. <laughs> it's not about letting. I let you watch it. I don't no, want to watch it. if we're hanging out, you. if we're hanging out, there's either two reasons why you say, "Oh, Rachel, you can watch your show if you want." <laughs> A is because he wants to watch his own show and put his earphones in, so he doesn't even socialise. And B, he actually likes it secretly. I don't like it. He wants it. to know who A is. No, I don't. She do. No, I don't. Oh. I was, 
was reading a comic while we were watching it. Okay. It's not good. I don't like it. But that is my opinion. It's lying. Anyway. And finally, YouTubers Jess and Gabe Conti. The end. Are you not even going to go into it? You're just going to say, watch these Just watch them. They're great. And okay. Tori and Chad. Whoa, you recommend too many people now. Mm -hmm. Four recommendations in one week. Anyway. Uh, here's my watch list. Watch list number one. Shit's Creek. Beep Creek. No, because it's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T, -T, comma, not comma, apostrophe, S. What a show. What a show. Why do we love Shit's Creek, Rach? I don't know. Because it's great. It's actually a brilliant you show. You know what else is great? What's great? Aldi. Uh, if you mention Aldi or chocolate one more time, we'll never do a podcast again. Aldi. Right, well, you've been here for the end of Why Not Podcast. No. Um, Shit's Creek is just really good. It's such a feel-good show. And I think you can watch it over and over. You can watch it in sequence, out of sequence. But it's a brilliant show. Oh, I got a message from Mama. Wow. It's like Canadian friends. She says, just starting to die, die today. Her last is 19 days. Ah, uh, she's talking about flowers. Yeah, I bought some tulips for her birthday. Okay, so your nan's not just texting you to say she's just starting nan. to die. I'm <laughs> saying it so they know. The people. You called her nan. She would have No, I'm just saying nan. it so the people understand. Who Mama is? She's not your French Everybody mom. Everybody knows who Mama is. No, she's not your French mom. Oh, the Australians know, yes. do they? No. Mama's not a French mom. Instead, she is uh, your grandmother. Uh, my next thing on my watch list. Next thing on my watch list is the Hitman's Bodyguard. Woo! I love um, the chat. What that is we this have. about? Hitman's Bodyguard. Ow! Don't touch him. What? I'm being... Oh, you've been a hitman's bodyguard. You're making so much noise. So, it's Ryan Reynolds. It's Samuel Jackson. I like Ryan Reynolds. It's Selma Hayek. It's a brilliant, brilliant <gasps> film. Go on. Do you know what name I like? M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Rach the other week discovered there's a man called M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Do you know he was referencing Gilmore Girls? <laughs> yes, I was there when we watched that. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Yeah. Yes, I was. You anyway, I was. So, Hitman's Bodyguard, it's Ryan Reynolds, it's Sam L. Jackson, and it's Selma Hayek. Rachel keeps hitting me, and she's hit a funny bone. Uh, can you and I'm reiterate? Gonna start my I didn't head. just hit him. She did hit me. Not hard. For no reason. Yeah. I was yeah. acting at. It hit after five hits. Rachel's not abusive, I need to mention that apparently. I'm going to start again on my second recommendation and I'm going to get to do it. Yeah. The Hitman's Bodyguard. It's Ryan Reynolds, it's Samuel Jackson, it's Selma Hayek. And M. Night Shyamalan. It's not M. Night Shyamalan, but it's really good and we should watch it, Rach. It's about a guy, a hitman, who's got to get to uh, Brussels to testify against a dictator and save this country. But it's really good you'd enjoy it if you watched it. Maybe. Yeah. Guess what? What? I can do a push-up. Rachel wants you to know that she can do a push-up. Uh, for some reason. My third one, and this is one that, Rach, you can stop denying that you enjoy it because you said the words to me. I'm actually looking forward to it. And I said, is that sarcasm? And you said, no, I promise. I'm looking forward to it. It's WandaVision, again. This episode wasn't the best, though. Shut up. It was a good episode. Not much really happened. It was a good... It's setting up the finale. It is Final good. I think episodes. if you don't like Marvel, give it a go, because it's a, it's only 20 minutes. Yeah. And there's not a big fight scene. Well, yeah. not yet. That is my cue for a nap. No. Every time we have fail, isn't it true? I end up falling asleep drawing. The yeah, I think I fell asleep in uh, Spider Man at the cinema. You did. It was disrespectful to the, the Just film. Just the spy scenes. I'm not missing anything important. Disrespectful. You didn't fall asleep in Endgame though. No, well, that's I didn't. all the fight scenes. <laughs> yeah, but I think there was a lot of story in the fight scenes. Yeah. 
Good movie. You enjoyed it. And she's been secretly enjoying WandaVision. Not secretly. I'll say yeah. I've been enjoying it. Nah, the first few you were like, meh. And then you were like, I'm enjoying it again. But that wraps us up for the weekly watch, though. Right? <laughs> Great. That wraps us up. We're going to take a short break and then we're going to be back <laughs> to talk about relationships. And Rach seems so happy to be doing it. I am. Here's some music. one of my favourite renditions of Hot Topic that you've done. Why? Uh, it was... I just felt other weeks we've had a stronger performance of Hot Topic. You know what? What? I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to next week's Hot Topic theme. This week's Hot Topic, you're going to get to know us a bit better. We're going to talk about us and how we ended up together. Yeah. Unfortunately. I'm joking. I love him very much. Let's talk and about us, ben, baby. I see a future with us. <laughs> what do you mean, unlike Ben? You don't tell your family and friends that you want to marry me. <laughs> That's not true. It is. That is not true. It is. That's not true. So why did your granddad act surprised? <laughs> That's not what he was saying. Oh, I hate oh, this episode. I'm happy that you talk about marriage. I do. Rachel's playing with a bottle of hand sanitizer <laughs> because I guess oh, anything's sorry. more enjoyable than this. No. So, <laughs> we love you, Glyn. You just... Ben doesn't believe that we're going to make him. Yes, I do. Why don't you tell your family and friends? All right. Nan, Grandad, Becky, Mum, Dad, anyone, this is my future wife. You That's happy? gross. But... Moving a bit too soon there. Okay, w- one joking. day... In the distant future, maybe I'll consider marriage with this person. Is that better? It's better than what you've done so far. <laughs> I've not done anything. Exactly, that's the point. I'm the perfect gent. You're not. I am. Where's my chocolate? Shut up, man. <laughs> Let's do this. And then we can stop. So, Ben. Yes. When did it all begin? Where will my I thought be? that. Where I seen it? Nope. <gasps> what? I was seeing that in my head. <laughs> okay, when did it all begin? Yeah. Okay, cast our minds back. To Calvary. No. Oh, I hate that way. song. So, cast your mind back. Calvary. We'll get claimed if we keep doing like this. So, let's cast our minds back to the beautiful year of 2014. Seven years ago. Yeah, have you cast your mind back? Yeah. It's April. A hot young man has just entered church. It's his first time there. And he brings his friend. <laughs> and his name <laughs> is Ben. And no, picture his friend him, is Ben. Picture him in this story as the Ryan Reynolds type. I'm not acknowledging it because I'm a hot young man. <laughs> picture me as the Ryan Reynolds nice character in this story. You'll need a nice pack in a minute. Because I'm going to turn the radiator right off and it'll be really warm in this room. So, I'm the Ryan Reynolds type of this story. And then, what else happened? Do you want to take it from there? Uh, I can't remember meeting at you. Oh. <laughs> Can you remember meeting me? Uh, no. So you can't go? <laughs> so. I want to smell this hand sanitizer. I, I think I liked Ben from the get-go. Now I'm looking back on pictures and I'm like, what the heck were I thinking? Really? Young me was insecure. Don't know Skinny what little thought. boy. Yeah. Um, he must have caught my eye somehow. I didn't talk to him, I was too shy. Yep, yeah, that is correct. But I was only 12. 11, 12. <laughs> Probably 11. No, you weren't 11. 2014. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it was April. Because I was 30. No, you weren't. You were 12. Oh, so it's 2014. Because yeah, I was so 13. 14. No, I said 2013. So it was 2015. Wait, yeah, maybe it was 2015. I was 13. So I was 12. <laughs> and when you like a boy when you're 12, you just don't talk to him. Yeah. You just... And when you like a girl when you're 12. You buy you loads him. of talk food. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you and you wouldn't talk to me. 
so I bought food. I I should add in this story at our church, young kids can can work. <laughs> they can they can do the tuck stand, which is selling the food. The sweeties. Yeah, and. They used but, to buy loads of stuff and then end up giving it to people. No, no, I would ask people if they wanted something getting. So you go and talk to me. Yeah, because you wouldn't talk to me. You, you didn't come to me and talk to me when I, I went just, and talk. Yeah, I did. You didn't. Yeah, I did, man. You didn't. I did. You didn't. I did. I did. Anyway, you don't love me. <laughs> so we end up being in the same friendship circle with JB actually. Yeah, because we knew him because because we knew him. And my sister. <laughs> And your sister. And other people. And other people. Yeah. I don't think we know any of the other people anymore. No, we don't really talk to the other people anymore. But we know JB, and sometimes we talk to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Ben decides to give up. I didn't give up. What year was this? It was 20... The same Late year. 2015. <laughs> it was late 2015, early 2016. Ben thought, fed up waiting. That was early 2015. And? And, um. We won't name any names. Shall we give them different names? And we're not allowed to say anything. We'll horrible give them about the it. names of, uh, the least pretty liars. Oh. I'll pick, uh, I'll pick movie names for them. Da-da-da. We'll call them. So the first do you remember girl, the group chat we had? JB, do you remember the group chat we had called made, Not Made in Chelsea? After we went chat. to one event. Anyway. Man. Is that when it all started? One event? Or I was don't, it, it was before I don't event? know. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hung up on it. <laughs> so, the first girl. And watermelons. We used to just send watermelons. Like yeah, that man. You know what? You're making it really hard to tell this story. Why are you taking your time? Because I'm trying to find names that aren't the names. Okay, okay so the first girl we'll call her Thor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you had a friend called Thor. Can I just reiterate, she was one of my closest best mates. Yeah, and you didn't love me at the time. I probably, I wouldn't say love, but You I didn't like love you. me. And I, I, as a boy, I craved that. And no one's ever loved me before, I just want to be loved. So what happened before in you? Well, Thor liked me more than you did. <laughs> and Thor beat you to it. And? So I dated Chris Hemsworth for a while. <laughs> for? A long while. But in secret, because yeah. that's their standard of relationship. Everyone thought, oh, they're just flirting. It wasn't my standard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, she's she's lovely. Um, Hi ben. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not listening. <laughs> not 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 to be mean, just because this would be so awkward for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I did not know this was going on. So me and Ben, we were friends, and Ben just saw me as one of his closest mates, and I used to text him a lot. And you didn't love me. And you were dating another girl at this time. And then Thor left Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm finished. Okay. So we were messaging a lot. I did not know they were dating. This was my best friend and my now boyfriend, my crush. I did not know they were dating. So I was talking, texting him, without knowing it, we're actually talking because he had a girlfriend. Yeah. But he didn't do anything in like a flirty way or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm a good boy, you know me. And once I say we were talking all day and all night, and then I showed up to church and he ignored me. And just spoke to this girl. I think that's probably when he first started. Not to my knowledge. Anyway. And then. Thor, Chris Hemsworth. Left, left me. <laughs> that was fun. A uh, good, good few months. Good six months. So I was like. Oh, can I just say I did Go flirt on. in the summer a heck of a lot. No. I did. Well, that in the guitar. Improve your style. That's weird. I mean, obviously. <laughs> When, was, when did you do your first encourage? The 12th of August, 2016. Uh, we'll talk about that bit in a minute. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I've got another chance. <laughs> you were like, ah, a window. <laughs> a window. So I started upping my game a bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we do this thing called Rat Nations, but if you're, it was when you're in year 10, you can go. Yeah. To this youth kind of event with uh-huh. church. I, I thought I had him in the bag. And then he came back. 
with another girlfriend. Who was again one of my friends. Loki. So you came back with another girlfriend. Yeah. I'd like to add, right, a fun thing about this story. Is <laughs> technically, for a while, quite a while, we were just dating, right? She was my girlfriend, and then our friend Tom Moores, hello Tom, nicked my phone and then changed my relationship status on Facebook. And obviously the other person's got to accept it. Thanks, Tom. And uh, I'm trying to think what level of the story I should go into here. Yeah, she didn't talk to me for like a day, maybe a day and a half. And I was like, oh, what's happening? And then I think she just cracked. <laughs> I did not know that bit of the story. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a fun part of the story. It wasn't fun for me at the Can time. I just say when we... Um first started dating, all you spoke about really was his pain of his past relationships. It, I think Non-stop. that's not true. But I had a really bad time. And then, I was like, oh, no. He's dating other girls. So I got sad and I probably moved on and got a couple of other crushes. Huh. You not told me that. <laughs> as you do as a young girl. Well, I'll be finding them and killing them. Um, Can't be having them around. Hey, you had two girlfriends. Can't be having them around. Friends. And then what happened? And they broke up with me at Christmas. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then... But a friend of mine, on the day that we broke up, we decided to... Because I'd planned quite a nice date for us. So my friend Luke, who we don't really talk to anymore, but um, he met me in town and we, we finished that date, me and him, <laughs> together. And we went to Frankie and Benny's, we had a nice meal, went to the cinema, we watched Pitch Perfect 3... Crap film. Yeah, I know, but this, uh, I was taking Loki to see it. Yeah, I went all the way to Metal Wall to watch that. Oh, wow. Um, and then I was like, oh, yes, another window. We kind of, we had a couple of new people to our friendship group. Yeah. Um, and then... We're not going to talk much about this one, but... Uh, she is a listener, yeah. quite a big fan of this. Um, we, I love her so much. She's great. Um, so then Ben got himself and bagged himself another girlfriend when I thought we were talking, but no, they used to... I didn't know about this. And then you were... <laughs> I remember you went to fix your phone one Sunday afternoon at church. You went into town with you, and I was really upset. Mm. Heartbroken. I don't like this. But then, <laughs> they broke up. Yep. This is when it gets more interesting. Doesn't it? No. Yeah. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. You're making so much noise. I don't like oh, this. Oh, sorry. So what happened next, Ben? We, I would say summer, like June time. Yep. We started talking a lot. Yep. Um, a lot, a lot. Yep. And I was like, oh, we're on our way. And then Rock Nations came about again yep. and I was old enough to go this time. Mm-hmm. And I arrived at church waiting for the coach. I was with my friends, we walked in, went over to Ben and a couple of other lads. He said hello to every single one of them but me. It's not true. It is. It's not. Um, it's Rock Nations. Ben's phone stopped working. It genuinely To be didn't. honest, I have asked you in quite a lot and he's like genuinely, it wasn't working. It wasn't working and you got into your head that it was working because I posted one picture that posted about 20 minutes after you sent a text that I took maybe about half an hour before you sent a text. Of me and you and watching TV. We were and watching I, the didn't, I did not sleep for them three days. wasn't my fault. should be explained. I was told. And then you started... I didn't know if you class expert for that in, but you just kept talking to my friend. I wasn't. The whole time. I wasn't. You were. No, I wasn't. You were. I wasn't, though. You were. I wasn't. You were. Stand Even you would notice because he went, Rachel, are you okay? I wasn't, though. You were, though. No, I wasn't. Anyway... Yeah, I was told I could never, never be with you. I was told I'll make your life worse. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> you did make my life worse because of it. And no, I, I made it worse now. And then one event came along, which was a big camping thing we do at church. Yeah. I was, me and Ben, for some reason he just started talking to me again at the first two days at one event. Then all of a sudden he stopped and he started ignoring me again. So I broke down like the third day and cried about him i thought this was going to be nice things about us this week but then <laughs> i'm telling you i was like relationship story okay man and then i decided you know what stuff boys stuff him and i began hating ben not hating it's a bit strong i just moved on really um 
you want to carry on this day? What happened? Uh, Around Feb that year. Uh, you decided you loved me again. No. <laughs> we were setting up for a magic, which is a women's thing at our church. Yes, and I, I it wasn't... Did you volunteer um, because I was volunteering? No, I was just asked if... I volunteered because you were. Oh. Um, I was told to, prior to this that I would uh, make your life worse. I decided, sod it. <laughs> it's their own choice, it's their own fault. Uh, and Feb 2019. Yeah. Oh, wait, 2019? Yeah. yeah, yeah, 2019. Uh, but I spoke to some people. I had their backing and the agreement that... Who? I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> uh, I had their backing of... Uh, if things don't go well, you won't make their life worse. Everyone can learn from things. <laughs> so, you know, I thought... Like, I mean, hard. Wasn't trying to. Yeah, you were. You nah. were dropping stuff on me. Just a, what a beautiful man I am. The Ryan Reynolds archetype of this. And then thing. we were talking from Feb to. Hey, have you ever realised we've got the perfect rom com story arc of things are going great? Then we fall out, we grow apart, we don't talk, and we come back. Wow. It's and like with Harry Met Sally. <laughs> we were talking to him, um, talking until June. Yeah. But during this time. One of Ben's exes became my best friend and she um, mm. told me that Ben doesn't like me and he likes someone else and I was too Christian for him. Yeah. He'd never like me because I'm too good. Like, too goody two-shoes. Mm. Um, anyway, side note. <laughs> oh, wait. I should have addressed which ex this was. Loki. Loki. Um, <laughs> and then... Thor's dad's a... <laughs> Thor's dad's a vicar or something, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Don't give it away. Okay, Thor's dad is Odin. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, Ben on the fourteenth of June. So do you want to go on a date? <laughs> and then two um, weeks later, he, we didn't plan a date, and I went Ben. We need to figure out a date to go. Actually, it was the Wednesday after you. I was, and I stand by this as part of the story. And you always accuse me of lying. Genuinely happened. I was thinking of what to text you when you sent a message just saying, oh, so when are we having this date then? <laughs> and we had it the Wednesday after that. Yeah. So it was two weeks, and then we went on a date to a nice place where we returned a month and three Late. days later. Yeah. yeah. The 17th of July. Yeah. And then it was on Facebook. You went, oh, I was going to do this different, but... Yeah, <laughs> I, basically, right, I should address... I was if you did told, this sooner, you could have had a free wedding meal. Yeah, I could have, but it was offered. <laughs> <laughs> I should address, right, <laughs> that I was told, I was strictly instructed, that I was not allowed to make things official with you around the time of your brother's and sister's-in-law's wedding. Mm. Because, apparently, for some reason, that would be a bigger deal no, it than wouldn't. a lifelong commitment to the marriage. <laughs> So I wasn't allowed I to. I don't know why my mum said that, but... Yeah, no one does. But then one day, you decided, sorry, it. Ben's the Ryan Reynolds type I've always wanted in my life. And then we went Facebook official. And we did. Yeah. What was our first and you... day? No, first film we went to we see. Were... No, we didn't watch it in the cinema, this film, when we went official. We watched Us no, at No, one house. of our dates. Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Spider-Man, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we did Lion King, Lion King just after that. But then when we went official, we watched the movie Us. Yeah, and you mean Burgers. Oh, it's a brilliant movie though, isn't it? Did you plan that day that you were going to do it? No. Well, because I was told I couldn't. So I was going to do it after the wedding. Yeah, I was going to take me on a picnic. Mm. Still waiting for Yeah, planned a really good date. Oh, the Mac nearly turned off then. I'm still waiting for that picnic. Well, you're not getting it now. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, and then we became official, and we had have spent we spent five months of our relationship in lockdown, and it's been a year and uh -huh. six months. Seven months. Seven months. Yeah, year and seven months. Yeah, that's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Man. Uh, anyway, <coughs> I hated that bit. When did you think that I was the one? 
I am... Do not change your answer because you know when mine was and it will soon. I'm not sure. Do you not? I'm still not sure. No. <laughs> no, I don't know when was... When we were dating or when... Before we were dating. I don't know. When do you think you're going to marry me? Next year? <laughs> no. <laughs> year after, sorry. No. In a bit? Year after that? Don't know. Don't know yet. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, she has. You're all invited, all you listeners. <laughs> Australia, come on down. Go on. When did you decide, No, when Ray? did you decide? I don't know. Well, that's romantic. Now, right in this moment. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Do you, like, when did you know you loved me? A little bit before I told you. Really? A few weeks. Yeah. I had a conversation about that with someone once as well. What did you say? <laughs> what? What did you talk about? I talked to someone... About it's um, just so I feel like I love her. Well, I didn't question it because I was like, Oh, at some point, I'm gonna say it, but I feel like at this point, it's too soon and I can't say it. And everyone will be like, You're a madman. When did you use your encourage? Uh, the like the 12th or the 14th or the 16th of August 2016. Yes. So, 2016, in August, I felt, this is, I'm going a bit spiritually, Mm -hmm. Um, but I felt God told me when he was on stage, you're going to marry that guy. Yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't say I was in love with him then, but I knew I was going to marry (laughs) him. You were like, "Ah, this man that, he's all right, I'm going to marry him. But I felt God was saying, you're going to marry that guy, and then I thought it was fake because she ended up dating three other girls before me. Yeah, but wouldn't it be funny, right? If next week, God's like, change your plans. <laughs> abort, abort. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's when I knew. When did I know I was in love with you? That really wouldn't be funny, by the way, if God doesn't. <laughs> I would say, like, the first month of dating. Oh. I can't remember when I thought. Yeah, exactly. But I knew I was going to marry you. You gave me some sticks So is it. that love? Love is an action. I don't know what love, love is. is. not really just a feeling. What want you to tell me. Love is, you can do, I'll, I'll do anything for him. Oh, isn't that nice? What else can we talk about our relationship? Ah, well, what do we want to call our doggies? Richmond. And? S- Samson. And what breeds are they? It's a sausage dog and a border collie. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Are you having dogs instead of kids? No, we're not. <laughs> we're having dogs and kids. Okay. And for every kid we have, we get another dog. What was your first impression about me? <laughs> I can't remember. I can probably remember. You have told me that everyone that you like, you hated at some point. I did hate you at some point. Oh. Um, but that was when you ignored me. This, this episode really paints me in a bad light. <laughs> What did you like or love about your partner? What did I like or love about you? <laughs> I liked your happiness, but it seems to, since we've been dating, seems to be slowly fading away. Some of these beat, man. <laughs> Do you feel the same way you felt for your partner at the beginning? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it changes, doesn't it? Yeah, because when you start, you're like, wow, what a great person. <laughs> Everything about this person's perfect. I could see every day of my life and then waking up to them thinking, wow, not I'm until in the best married. position in life. And every time not you look at you them, I shut up, man. And every every day, you're like, wow, I'm so, I, what a lucky guy and you I you make am. a mistake and fall in love with them. And yeah. then you realise love is more of an action <laughs> than it is a feeling. No, I'm joking. And then you learn one day, oh... They stuck. suck. <laughs> stuck now. And it changes. Yeah. Changes. Love quickly becomes Are paint. you positively affecting... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you positively, positively affecting each other's life? No. I'd like to think I positively affect yours. I and you shout hope... at me because the computer decided not to work. I <laughs> hope I positively affect yours. You affect my life. Affect. Positively or negatively. Have you started 
Have I started what? How often do you laugh together? No. Sometimes when we record the podcast, we'll laugh together. So, yeah, keeping up appearances. <laughs> so everyone thinks we're happy, but normally... What was the last time you dreamt of yourself to the shade? What? What was the last time you dreamt about your partner? I dreamt Ben turned out to be gay. Yeah. I don't dream. Yeah, it's depressing. One day I'll have a dream. Stop! We we really can't afford all these songs. <laughs> when was the last time you dreamt of oh, just isn't it? Yeah, you've just done that one. Do you like spending time with your partner's friends and family? We have the same friends. Yeah, I like spending time with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. They're probably all listening, you know. Well, not all my family, because there's like a hundred plus of us, but... How often do you think about your partner? More than you think about me. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a lie. You didn't even try and deny <laughs> You think What's about the Netflix, What's the... and then your friends, and then food, and then other things, and then me. What's the most romantic thing we've ever done? Cricket. <laughs> not cricket. Crickets, as in, you oh, know, okay. when people don't talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we done romantic stuff. One time, uh, we went to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Not really by choice, is it? Yeah, we had donuts by the beach. Mm. It was a choice. It's quite nice. We saw kind of a sunset on the beach. Can you think of mine? What I think. Uh, that time that I brought you flowers. Yeah, that's probably the most romantic thing he's ever done. <laughs> I do romantic things. You have romantic ideas, we don't really do... Because I'm romantically poor! <laughs> <laughs> Mine, what we did was free. I mean, you know when you took me up there? Up to the hill. Up to the hill. On the golf course at yeah. night and we watched the sunset. Yeah. And we found our song. Yeah, and then you decided you don't love Wait. me. <clears throat> if you can guess what song it is from... <clears throat> We'll we'll pay for your Spotify exactly. for a month. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Or something like that. Yeah, but that's that's a challenge for you guys at home. If you can guess the song by Rachel's version of the intro, <laughs> you get free month Spotify. Do you get you know your answer? Do you get each other's feelings? Like, do you know what the other one's feeling without needing to say anything? Well, what kind of person gets what you're feeling? <laughs> you sit and frown and look at a corner and I'm like, oh Rachel, what's up? And you go, nothing, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> That's what you do. I think by the tone of my voice you can tell. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've closed book and the book's got a lock around it and it's in a chest at the bottom of the sea. When was the last time you said I love you? You didn't tell me if you got... I love you. You didn't tell me if you got my feelings. I know when you're annoyed. Yeah. Your attitude is disgusting when you're annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed when you're around. Oh, thanks. <laughs> right, here's the thing that Rach does that I think most... It's mainly a girl thing. That, like, you'll be like, oh, but you you never tell me if you're not okay. Yeah. And then you're not okay. They'll be like, you're okay, and you stop it. Leave me alone. What does that mean? Nobody knows. I'm not okay. Yeah. Oh, here's something, right? <laughs> if you ever have a pick and mix with you, oh, and someone's my like, days. I do not trust you. And someone's this. like, oh, can I have a sweet? And you go, yeah, have whatever you want. He picked. And then someone points at the one they want, and you go, all right, that means we you can have it. We were probably together for like six months at this point. It was November. It wasn't. Yes, it was. Not this November. Yeah. No, because we're not down. Probably was. When? Well, it was maybe last summer then. Yeah, when we first got together. No. And then I would go pick a mix, and then he asked me, "Can I have one?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And then he picked the biggest, best sweet, and went on oh, because they're big, so they can't fit a lot in. But you just say no. And I didn't want to be. I, this is my turn. I went. Okay, okay. I'd have rather you have been horrible and gone, no, don't you dare touch it, I love that more than I love you, than deal with the mood you were in after you were like, alright, and I had it. <laughs> it's toxic, it's toxic behaviour. Ladies, 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 right. I saw this TikTok and it's the truest thing I've ever seen. 
Girls aren't hard to understand. Yes, you are. No. Yeah. We will tell you what we want. But that does not mean you just then and then go and get it. You wait a week or so and you get it then. You won't we tell us what flowers. you want. We'll tell you we want flowers. All I tell you all the chuffing time I like a bunch of flowers. And, but it doesn't mean we want you to go, oh, I'll go get you it now. No, I want you. Us girls, we want you to want to get us that stuff. I don't want to, though. <laughs> Love, innit? Don't get a boyfriend. No, 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 no. But right, <laughs> Is that you're like, oh, we tell you we want flowers, but we don't want to tell you we want flowers. And if we tell you we want flowers, we don't want you to go and get it there Nearly and then. Nearly every girl. And then we'll leave it a few days, and you'll be like, I want flowers. So then we have to leave it a few days, and you're like, I want flowers. So then we leave it a few I days, and you want flowers. I don't know. I'm not like that. How long have we been dating? How long have we been dating? Well, we've gone over this many a time, right? A year Nearly and two seven, years. A year and seven months, yeah. okay? You've bought me two bunches of flowers. Because I don't like carrying them underneath my nose the whole way. It's <laughs> a legit thing. It's called hay fever. You think it's like a pound daffodils? It's just showing appreciation. Well, Alright, I want you to start getting me Ben and Jerry's every now and then. I buy you food every other weekend. <laughs> Do you know how much that shoving costs? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I'm not on wage. Yeah, I'm a frontline worker. Yeah, getting yeah. paid. Yeah, getting paid to treat myself. I do buy chocolates. Uh, no. Leave every man behind. That's the way to do it. Are you done? Ah! Rach just tried to spray hand sanitizer anyway, in my eyes. Shall we leave it there? Yeah. Going. This has been a positively great episode. Ain't picked up on the end. <laughs> For a little bit. <laughs> well, we're going to hear some music and then we'll say bye. Here's some music, a beautiful piece of music. It's Dark Horse by Katy Perry. No, we can't afford that. Well, that has been it. For why not the podcast? This is take two of the outro because Rach decided to just give out my address <laughs> as a joke. So we hope you've enjoyed it. Someone's perked up now that the episode's over. Hopefully, she'll be happy next week. Biologically, she will be. <laughs> <laughs> um, where can they find us? Instagram. Why not dot pod? Yeah, at why not dot pod and what should they do? Like, share, rate, mm -hmm. comment, yeah, smile. Yeah, just Tell do everything they can. Tell all your friends. And there might be a competition coming up in the near future. Yeah. So make sure you're following. Should we tell them what the prize is going to be, but not tell them when it's coming? Yeah, because you have to follow us yeah. to know when. Yeah, but we tell them what yeah. the prize is going to be now. Yeah. Do you want to tell? Yeah. You will win a whole month of free Spotify. Yeah. We will pay for a month. And not just that, you get a free trial as well. Do you? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, tr free trial, I think, of Spotify if you haven't already got it. Oh, yeah, if you've not already got it. But and if there's one catch, they have to listen to every episode of Why Not the Podcast. <laughs> um, make sure you're following our Instagram so you know when that's going to be coming up. Uh, Rach is in... A good mood now. Rach is still in a bad mood. So, <laughs> thanks for Probably listening. Not. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks for listening to episode five of Why Not the podcast. We will see you for about fifteen to seventeen more weeks this year. This year. Well, this series. series. Yeah. And then we'll be back. We'll take a short break sometime. But it's not important. Thanks for listening to Why Not, the podcast. See you next week. Love you. You don't love him, you love me. I love you. No. More.